all of us have been known to tell fish tales occasionally, but the Oregon Historical Society can document one that didn't get away. Now, we first met our guide, Bill Simpson, a couple of miles below the Bonneville Dam. His aluminum welded custom built boat was impressively painted. Now, Bill's going to teach us while he's demonstrating step by step how to catch giant sturgeon. Hey, Doc. Now, we got all our gear stowed away. He supplied the appropriate tackle and bait, of course. And very shortly, we headed up current toward where we were going to anchor. Bill Simpson was an excellent teacher, and he explained to us that the water passing over the spillway of the Bonneville Dam put so much nitrogen bubbles into the water that the motor could not control the boat very close to the dam itself. It was just like a propeller spinning in air. The undertow would actually pull the boat back into the spillway where the water was pouring over and capsize us in a heartbeat. Therefore, there was a sign on the shore warning boaters not to anchor closer to the dam. The water's so fast up here, you have to pull the anchor up with the boat. You can't pull it by hand. Oh, I see. And you gotta let it out. When you let it out, it, it has a catch and let the rope go one way but not the other. So you have to physically hold the catch back while the rope is going, going out. Oh, okay. I have to have the boat in reverse going backwards. You can't let the rope overtake the boat. You get the boat. Yeah. It does. Right. Bad news. Go ahead, Joe. You just gotta hold the boat there straight or let it go there. Now, we weren't anchored alone on this river. There were a couple of dozen other boats already anchored up. A lot of anglers fish from shore by catapulting their sinkers near the dam. You physically hold the catch back so it locks down on it right there. Well, so it won't lock. So it let won't go lock, it'll slide forward it'll lock the rope. It'll okay. stop the rope. That's so when you go forward, it pulls the anchor up, and the anchor will be floating right under this like a, this acts like a bobber, the anchor will just be right underneath this when you get the rope oh, finish pulling up. You just push it down into lock. Once the boat is securely anchored, we're gonna put out the bait. I'm gonna put one out with a, one rod out with a whole shad on it, and one out with a fillet. Okay. And some days they won't buy anything but a fillet, and some days they won't buy anything but a whole shed. That tugboat puts up a big weight, but he doesn't do anything. He's flat calm compared to a nuclear sub. 